Hi guys. <laughs> um, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me, I am alive. Um, it's been a minute since I've gotten on here and I miss speaking to you guys and I miss producing content. Um, I have a long list of things that I want to share with you guys, but recently my life has been incredibly busy. Um, but I really wanted to film this video since I have literally an hour to film it and I figured it's appropriate because one, I have a photo shoot happening within the next hour and a half and I figured I'll, I'll film a skincare routine. Um, I was also kind of inspired because Kendall just put out her Vogue skincare routine and I thought that would be a great idea. Um, especially since you guys are always asking me about how um, I treat my skin, how I keep it flawless, and how, you know, what my routine is, more or less. But, um, you know, usually for photo shoots, I... I, right before photo shoots, I do a lot more than I would usually do just because I really like to prep my skin uh, really well. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. We're going to get started because I have a very short time. Okay, so I already opened this up, um, but this is the mask, uh, seven day mask, pomegranate firming and firming and radiating. So I um, have never used this specific mask before, but typically I would always want to put um, a mask or two beforehand. Um, I don't switch too much. I usually use like Dead Sea, um, Dead Sea mud mask, but I love everything. Anything with pomegranate always somehow like really wakes up my skin. Um, and it just, it really, really helps. I used to use like a pomegranate scrub, pomegranate soap. Um, and I've always loved pomegranate. And I think there's like research on it that pomegranate is actually really good for you. Um, skin wise but anyway so this is the mask i'm using i think i might have gotten it on amazon or target or something um but you guys can use typically anything that you like so i'm gonna put this on um yeah okay so we have it the really scary types of masks so oh my goodness <laughs> so usually i either just use like a mask that i kind of uh, just um like put on with a brush I don't use the ones that are like a face like this. So this is the one thing that I took from Kendall's video. Wow, this actually feels really, really, really nice. So I actually had this in my house and I have not used it. Um, I have not used it. So, and then I saw Kendall use it in her video. So I figured, let's see how this works. Okay, this is wrinkly and this is falling. I look like I should be going out for Halloween. So this I never did before. So this is one thing I got from her video. I usually just do, I use like this berry mask. Oh, sorry. I use this berry mask um, and this collagen honey mask. So those are like just ones that I like spread on. Um, the other one that I use, which I am going to do today as well. That one I've been using for a while and it really just brightens up your skin, it's fantastic, okay. So the next thing, I actually do use this, I've always used this, um, I use it before photo shoots, if I don't have like a, well, if I don't have it, I use a spoon. Um, typically it stays at home. Oh, so sometimes when I'm sleeping elsewhere, I uh, use a spoon, but you know, I put this in the freezer so it's nice and cold, and it actually just massages your skin so nice. So at photo shoots, um, they do, so depending on the makeup artist, some makeup artists are more into prepping your skin uh, than others. Um, and I love prepping skin. I think it's my one of my favorite parts of doing a photo shoot. It's just, it's really, really relaxing. Um, it's super relaxing and it's it's nice. And I really feel like the makeup just sits so much better um, on my face when my skin is really prepped nicely when it's you know lotioned and massaged and oiled and all that good stuff is really when i feel like the makeup just looks a lot better sometimes i just feel like the makeup looks oh, weird and dry um and i do not like that this feels really good, you know, the rolly thing. I believe I got this off Amazon. Oopsies. Yeah. Alrighty, we're back. So that was just, that was actually very, very, very nice. I'm gonna take a picture of that mask and try to see where I bought it. My skin feels really soft, like incredibly soft. I left it on for like five, six minutes after. It, I promise you it feels a lot, very, very, very soft, a lot softer than before and I've never used this mask before. 
so I really really like it. I will I will link it down below. I hope I find it. But um, anyways, next I'm gonna use the fresh, fresh. <laughs> I'm gonna use the fresh vitamin nectar, um, which is this, and I actually think I used this in my last uh, my last skincare routine video. So my friend actually bought me this, and it's um, actual nectar is inside. So it's real fruit. You can see that. Um, it's, it's just. I don't think I've ever applied this on um, before smelling it. I mean, it smells it smells amazing, and it's actually a brightening, brightening. Uh, what should we call it? It's a brightening face mask, and I promise you. Usually, I'm like, eh, these things are like bull. Like they're not. Like I don't believe them too much. Like does it actually make a difference? This makes a difference. It literally, I feel like my skin goes from. Oh, it's pretty bright, looking good, to whoa, it somehow managed to get brighter. So I don't put too much, and you can you can see all those, the fruit pieces, you can see that. I washed off the face mask, and I just kind of like went around in circles, and I like spread it over again, and then um, just washed it off. So... Um, next step we are going to do is a nose strip. So I keep jumping out of the camera. Um, next thing we're going to do is, is this by your uh, nose strip. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this. I might have used this also in my last video. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Um, so I, it has no strip and like a chin strip. So I don't know if I have a chin strip here with me. I might. Oops. Oh, I do. Look at that. So, I really ripped this up really bad, like from each side. So there's a chin strip and a nose strip, um, and typically I would do this every once in a while. I feel like it really helps. So they're supposed to get rid of blackheads, but I have like two blackheads at the most. Um, but it does get rid of like all my whiteheads, which you can't see, or of any like roughness around the nose. Yet again, like this is one thing that I find really big um with makeup because when i do have like any dryness like around this this like this part of my nose the makeup doesn't sit as nice as it should um so this over here is the chin strip and then this would be the nose strip so i have these on right now i like to make sure i have these corners in because that's really the main reason that i do it and i'm literally going to show you guys the evidence of what comes out so while we're waiting <laughs> um i don't know i should have done like a q a while i'm doing this but I'll answer some modeling questions at the top of my head from what you guys typically asked me. Um, so one thing, one question is, um, I'm like, so people always ask me, I'm like 25 years old or I'm, you know, 28 years old. Am I too old to model? Have I missed my chance? No, you haven't missed your chance because a lot of, um, a lot of the time, a lot of uh, models start that late and it's okay i mean typically you know usually back in the day models used to become models at the age of 16. you know they used to be scouted around the, around then right now they really only scout models around 18 and up um you know there are some 16 year olds for sure but typically that's kind of what they do because it limits them the younger you are you're you're more limited so usually i would say a lot of models start around 18 um going moving forward and a lot of girls that i know that were with click um, at least, um, you know, there was 28 year old, there was a girl that was 30, going to 31, I believe. Um, so there were girls that were actually a lot older, but as long as you read younger, you know, when they tell you, oh, you have a baby face, um, that's always, always beneficial. I'm talking earlier is because this is like tightening up on me and soon like, I can't really move my bottom lip too much. Um, okay, so next question I'm gonna answer that I can think of. Um, how to make your how do you make yourself stand out how do you make your modeling agencies notice you so that's something else i always get asked um i think your um your personality um i think you need to make them you know feel and see that you're a special one that you're not just like any other girl that can walk in here and that they can really technically replace you with right you want to make them feel like oh my god i can't let this girl go because she's one of a kind 
Um, and you know, you can do that with the way you apply, uh, what you put in your application, what you put in your bio, what you write about yourself, um, with the way you interact, if you come into an open call, um, you know, the way you speak, your interests, um, your energy, really. So um, those things, I think, are what make really agents notice girls and, and really want to sign them and get excited to sign them. That's kind of my answer on there. Well, this is a food one. Do you diet and like exercise regularly or like what's your routine? Um, to be honest with you, I have to, you know, I'm, I'm very honest on my channel. I'm very honest with you guys on my Instagram too. I'm not gonna, you know, make up a lifestyle that I don't necessarily live. Um, I love exercising. I truly, truly, truly do. And I love eating salads. Like I, I can eat a salad anytime and day. It's because I, I like eating a salad. I enjoy it. So I don't eat it because I want to diet necessarily. Um, yet again, I try not to shove myself with food. I eat until I can eat. And my parents actually kind of taught me that where they would say, you're full? Okay, stop. You're good. If you're full, don't pressure yourself and that's it. Let it go. So, you know, yeah, you should finish your plate of food, but at the same time, like don't stop yourself that you're actually uncomfortable. So I eat till I'm satisfied. Um, I typically have two meals a day. I don't really have three. Um, and I might do like two snacks a day. And I, I love snacking on fruits. I love my salads. I love meat and chicken. Um, exercise wise, I would I, I went through a phase where I was exercising for like two, three months straight, uh, three days a week at least. Um, and then I have it now exercised in around two, three months. I have not been able to because I literally don't have the time at all. Um, and I've been thinking the last couple of days, I was like, oh my God, I really miss, I really miss exercising. I mean, I feel like, you know, sometimes it's not just about the way you look, but it's more about the way you feel. And with exercising, yeah, people exercise because they want to look good, which is, you know, the main reason. But I think for me, it is that, but it's also the fact that I feel good. I feel like I've accomplished something. I feel like I'm working towards, you know, a bigger goal. I feel like I'm really working on my body, that I care about my body, that I'm giving it the things that it needs. Um, so I really miss it. And, you know, typically I would exercise three days a week. I do a lot of cardio, a lot of ab work, butt work, thigh work. Um, it's kind of the three main things I focus on. Um, if I go to the gym, I do a treadmill, but I've, I've, I've learned during uh, COVID, during the quarantine, that my favorite type of exercising is actually at home and just watching uh, YouTube videos and doing those and see what works with me. And then I kind of built a routine on the exercises that I like and I've been doing those. Okay, so we're almost done. We only have two things left to do. And now that we have taken care of our face, three things, sorry. That now that we have taken care of our face, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is take care of our eyes. So dark eyes is one of the biggest thing and it's actually genetic. I don't know if you guys know that, but if you do have, oops. If you have dark um, dark eyes underneath and you sleep well and you know you take all your nutrients and your vitamins and all that stuff, but still you st still have dark um, under eye, you know, sometimes it is actually not your fault and it is just simply genetic. So I actually, you know, I think I do put them the right way. They should be this way. These ones are a little weird looking. Um, I will give you guys the name of it in just a second. So I do have like that little peeler thing, but it just fell on the floor. So I make sure I have that on there good. I... I like to make sure it's actually right under my eye because that's the whole point, right? See, like that. Oops, that bat, but, um, bat ripped. Just kidding. Um, it's all good. So now we have this here. Okay, there we go. I lost me. How do I take good photos? is a common question um how do you take good photos lighting huge huge massive so right now i'm using a ring light see when i come close it helps more oh there we go so right now i'm using a ring light as you can see um and it helps a lot so invest in a ring light and it doesn't have to be that big it can be a little ring light to do like inside indoor photo shoots Another thing you can invest in is, you know, a good tripod to put your phone on. Maybe even like there's like these little clips that you can actually just clip onto like anything, even if it's like a, you know, the side of your bed or whatever and, and use it there if you don't want to buy a tripod. Um, 
What else? You need to. I'm gonna take these off now because I really gotta get going. So one thing I learned is once you take these off, it actually feels really good. Just put some pressure with your fingers. I don't know how or why, but it feels good. And it feels nice and cold. And I've actually, I've always done this after these. Just put that straight on. Wow, I haven't done face um, treatment in such a long time. Okay, so for like the last couple of weeks, um, you know, but I, I, I like trying different things and seeing what I feel works works for me. So this one is, I think it's HLB, HLB, LH, yeah, LHBskin.com is the website, but this is it. Um, and this one is Renew and Refresh Eye Serum. So I just put like one, two dots on my finger, kind of like that. And then I just dab it, dab it, dab it. And then I go <laughs> and I go up in the corners right here, and back down. And I just make sure I get, I even do the eyelids towards the end. So that's it. And it has like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. It has like a weird smell. Not a gross smell, but it's just weird. It smells like it's um, not scented, which is good, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. We're kind of done. Uh, my last step is just lotion. I know a lot of people would like to stick to their face cream. This is something I would never change. Um, I am trying on, on a new, I am trying out also at the same time as using this, is a Neutrogena, um, water-based uh, face cream. So this one is also water-based and that's the only reason why I decided, ooh, let me try out this Neutrogena one because I have realized my skin needs water-based face lotions and that's kind of the best, most hydrating thing for my skin. Doesn't get my face oily, it you know keeps it nice um, and you know healthy looking not dry so this is one of the ones i use this one is literally by a dermatologist that sells them at his clinic so it's, his name is michael kurzman he's located in staten island new york so i don't know if you guys can find these online but you might be able to i don't know if he sells like his products online but this is it and it's water-based um it's pretty much done i literally ha i have another one in my house so that's what i do i hope you guys see a difference in like my face i really feel like there is a difference guys i actually i feel alive again i don't know how to explain this but my face feels hydrated and healthy and soft and i have ne been needing this though really really badly so really good reasons to film this video i need it i was inspired by kendall's you guys are asking for it and there was time for it because i have a shoot finally um so yeah so these are all the products if you guys have any questions reach out to me and ask me and leave it in the comments below you can do that too sooner than later <laughs> okay guys have a wonderful week um sending lots of love all over the world and i will talk to you guys soon remember to like subscribe and give this video a thumbs up um reach out put your comments down below i will leave all the products linked down and i'll talk to you guys soon bye